Hello, this video is going to document how to upgrade a classic PayPal full page redirect integration uh, using a get request or a link tag. Um, how to upgrade it to the new Smart Payment Buttons JavaScript. Alright, so let's start just by looking at the current um, shopping cart implementation here. We have um, a simple shopping cart with some items, and here's our PayPal button, so let's take a look at it. So like I said, this is going to be a GET request, so we can see here that the, that the merchant is integrated using a link, so we have a, a link tag. Goes to classic set express checkout route, which would then um, execute the set express checkout API, return a token, and then uh, do a 302 redirect to PayPal. Uh, you'll see then we're just using a, an image tag here for the PayPal button. All right, so when we click our button here, you'll see we just did a a get request to set express checkout, which then ended in a 302 redirect. Um, and then we end up landing on uh, the, the PayPal sandbox. So if I click cancel here, it's going to return to the cancel URL. And if I were to complete the payment and approve it, and I click continue here, um, it's going to return me to the return URL in which it says here's your uh, order, please confirm it and then when I place the order it'll go to it'll execute the do express checkout API uh, in which case I'll get a transaction ID and the order's complete. Alright so that's how um, you know in this video the merchant is currently uh, integrated, it's a very classic integration so now we're gonna I'm gonna show you how to upgrade this to the new uh, checkout JS JavaScript all right so let's return back to our page here and take a look at the code here's our link tag here's our uh, PayPal button container so we want to use uh, the new checkout JavaScript to inject a button into um, into that container. So the first thing I normally do is just go uh, to developer.paypal.com and then go to the interactive demo and get um, find a demo that's close to what I want copy it and then and then paste it and then modify it to my liking <coughs> so I already have that done in this example alright so now you'll see here's our PayPal link here's uh, the PayPal button container which I'm going to render the button in uh, and here's my script tag uh, in which I'm going to execute the PayPal JavaScript. So if we see here, the first thing I'm going to do is just set uh, the current link to display none. So I'm just going to hide uh, the current PayPal link. Now I'm going to call PayPal button render, give it an environment of sandbox. Um, I'm going to allow the Venmo funding source. And then the payment callback must return a PayPal express checkout token so how I'm gonna do that is I'm gonna use the paypal.request which is a HTTP library allowing you to do uh, XHR calls uh, there's a get function which I'm gonna execute and I'm gonna send the exact same link that the a tags going to uh, and then I'm going to give it this special header uh, for accept and then application page PayPal JSON token, which is actually going to um, tell the PayPal landing page 
to um, just submit the token back that's on the URL uh, instead of actually rendering the checkout experience. So then our PayPal JavaScript here will consume that token and then render it in an actual pop-up. And we'll see that when we actually run the app. Then you see there's an unauthorized function. Uh, this is called when the user returns back from PayPal. Um, in this case, we're using actions.redirect. So it's actually going to redirect to the return URL, which is what the current merchant site is expecting. Um, so everything else should carry on like normal. And that's the exact same for on cancel. Actions.redirect will redirect it to the cancel URL. Then you'll see in case there's an error, I'm logging it and alerting. And then here's the PayPal button container that I'm injecting the button into. So now let's take a look at how that looks on the merchant site. You'll see now the PayPal button is pill shaped. It's actually rendered by the JavaScript. Um, when we click this, we'll see the get request to the PayPal URL and that it responds with the token that's on the URL. So you'll see that we made an XHR to Set Express checkout, that it responded with um, the token once we hit PayPal. So here's the 302 redirect, and then here's where it landed on PayPal. You'll see that we responded with token um, EC dash. So then we can actually consume that token, which we're doing in the JavaScript and then rendering the checkout experience in a pop-up. So when I click cancel and return, it's actually gonna go back to my cancel URL, just like the classic integration. And if I were to actually complete the payment, it would return us to the uh, return URL, just as the application um, currently expects. I click continue and I go to the return URL, and then I just place my order. And we are done. And that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. We upgraded a, a classic integration using only client-side uh, JavaScript. So there was nothing on the server that we actually um, modified here. We only uh, modified some HTML and JavaScript. Thank you for watching.